Even all Hedge from Beer Mixed Beers. Welcome back to another beer review. Um, this is number five in the Staggerly Good Brewery mini series focus week that I've been running. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. This is the Bolossa Rapture. This is the second coming. And this is a West Coast double IPA coming in at 8.5% ABV. Again, as I said previously, this was picked up as a fridge filler pack. Uh, but on the website, it does go for £4.80 for a 440ml can. Um, first time joining us, I'll get it cracked open as I'm probably letting you know the entire rating. I'm in. And then what I'll do is, once it's settling, we'll have a sniff of the nose, see what aromas we're getting. And then I'll have a big old drink and break this bad boy down. So, currently on untapped, this has got a 3.90. So, again, that is decent, decent numbers. You know, there's some left in there. Slight haze to it, like I said, nothing absolutely crazy. I, I can just, I can just see the uh, the logo on the glass. The head has now dissipated. Well, there was goat nose, so we get, and then we're gonna jump in. So, like I said, I'm getting a bit, a bit of hoppiness that's coming through. There's a, a citrus bite that is definitely there. And there's like a, a like a the resinous obviously like a sweet pineus to it as well. I won't get much else than that. More importantly, that's what we're here for. Cheers, guys. Ah man, I'm just rest up there. It is. It's very, very nice. What I've done is I left it out on the side a good 10 minutes just before 10 15 minutes, give or take, just to try and get it um, cooled down, warmed up, to get it warmed up so hopefully more flavours will start coming through. And that was a good, a good shout. Like I say, definitely it's like a, a kick of like sweet citrus that you know, it, and it's just there. It's, it's also like a, uh, I want to say like a, almost like a wheatiness to it as well. Which I didn't get that the first time round. I got, like I said, I definitely got like the citrus flavours that are coming through and are still present. But I'm getting like a backing of, um, kind of, is it like a wheatiness, like a shredded wheat? That's pretty much like a that like flavour, that taste. I'm, I'm playing Jane. I like shredded wheat. <laughs> I don't like shreddies. Not shredded wheat. No, I'm not old yet. Um, <laughs> but it, like I say, I just thought I'd try it a little bit different. Obviously, I pretty much had it straight out of the fridge previously. And now for it, so let it get up to kind of like room temperature ish, ish. Uh, but yeah, like I say, it is definitely a lot different than I had previously. It's got a fairly thick, um, almost syrup like body to it as well. So, like I say, there is a bit of depth to it, so it's not just a, like a straight shooter, it's just you know, there's a little bit to it. Um, <clears throat> which, again, for me, I'm not going to complain. On the back end, it again it is still quite sticky, um, but that resinous, those resinous flavours are picking up very, very slightly at the back end. And I like to say for me, it just makes it, it does make for a nice, nice drink. Eight point five. Yeah, it is what it is. The finish, like I said, the drink itself is very, very tasty. As I said on this video and the previous ones, I'm a fan of Sagamore Gun. Um, like I said, just wanted to get some more content of, well, some more there. Beers, obviously, content beers. Um, just gonna smile at it. <laughs> Although we, we've been like a West Coast, there's minimal bitterness as well, which first time I'm trying that, I was expecting like um, almost, I, I think it may be too much, but again, the bitterness, absolute minimal. The flavours work so well with each other, as then the the citrus, the uh, kind of like the wheat like shreddies type thing that's going on, the resinous, like this, it, but it's sweet. Like I say, it's not like overpowering, like pineyness, but it's, it's just really, really subtle. And again, minimal bitterness. So, yeah, it is good. Like I say, I'm, I mean, can I? <laughs> not only do they make great beer, they make great can as well. And like I said, beer and dinosaurs. Um, if I'll cut it off here, but before I do go, just let you know, next week is the Supermarket Craft Challenge. Um, the winner was Sainsbury's, so I've got five beers from Sainsbury's. Again, each one, I'll have its own review. 
I'll do a, a little video of obviously what they are, and then in that first video, we'll, just, we'll get one drunk. Um, yeah, stay, stay tuned, see if you made under that 15 quid mark. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I did. I did good, I did alright. The selections were pretty good. Um, but yeah, if it's first time joining us, excuse me, hopefully I've made it this far. I'm not going to say when you think about subscribing. Nah, I'm going to. If you want to, just hit that little button down there. If not, no pressure. Hopefully I will see you in the next review. Guys, girls, thank you for your continued support. And I love you. Until the next one, take care. Stay safe. Head out. Cheers.